Yeah, hi there. These comments are for RD. This is Michael from OTC Online uh, Can you do me a favor? Uh, when you send me an email, give me some context. And in this case, tell me what the speaking prompt is so I have an idea of what you're trying to do. So when you send an email, it's, it's common email etiquette. Hi, Michael. I'm completing an independent speaking practice test. Uh, here is my speaking prompt. Right. Remember that I'm going through two or three hundred emails a day. So this really helps me figure out what's going on. Right. OK. So you're doing it looks like independent speaking practice. Right. And I'm not sure what the speaking prompt is. Let's listen to your response. In my view, I don't think uh, it's a valid decision because uh, so you don't think what's a valid decision some students are so poor they can't uh, afford buying uh, their own laptops because it's so expensive furthermore computers are readily available in uh, libraries and student centers inside the university campus uh, for example when i was in college I didn't need uh, to use my personal laptop at all because every time I needed to uh, do a research, I was I would uh, head to the library and use the computers there for free without uh, having to hold my personal laptop wherever I go. In my view. Okay, so I think what you're saying is students, sh students should be required to buy laptop <laughs> computers. Do you agree or disagree with this statement? I think, right? And you you think that they should not be required, right? I don't think uh, it's a valid decision. So I would say I don't think that students or how about that students should be required to buy laptop computers is not a valid decision because uh, so some students are so poor they can't uh, afford buying uh, their own laptops because it's so expensive. Furthermore... So some students are so... Let me see what you said. Because uh, so some students are so poor they can't... Uh, They're so poor. So you need to pronounce that P with more aspiration. Uh, afford buying uh, their own laptops because it's so expensive. Okay, what you're having trouble with, this is called fluidity of expression, right? So if you look at at what we have for the four, it says, um, under the independent speaking here, generally well-paced flow, fluid expression. So not really. You have a lot of starts and stops, a lot of pauses and hesitations. You have some fluidity of expression, right? That kind of describes your response right now. Furthermore, I like your use of the word furthermore to kind of add to what you're already computers saying. Computers are readily available in uh, libraries and student centers inside the university campus. Uh, for example, when I was in college, I didn't need uh, to use my personal laptop at all because every time I needed to uh, do a research, I was I would uh, head to the library and use the. Notice that I would uh, head to the library, so you have to work on the thought groups and blending. That is absolutely critical to helping you have more fluidity of expression. So practice a lot in pronunciation lessons 41 through 44. Uh, the title of those lessons are thought, group and, thought Groups and Blending, and that's where you really need to make a lot of improvements. Computers there for free without uh, having to hold my personal laptop wherever I go. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I, I think in this one, I'm going to put your score at a 2.5 to three. I'm going to say 18 points out of 30. Your speaking is fair right now because of those hesitations, those pauses. And I even think you can do a little bit better job organizing your ideas. So here's, here's a couple lessons I want you to review in my online course. Okay, take a look at uh, speaking lesson number seven. It's how to make your speaking 
more coherent. So review that lesson and also go to TOEFL Independent Speaking <laughs> Lesson Number One. I think that's also a really good lesson for you right now. Okay, and uh, thank you for doing this practice test.